Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 60. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the GT500 tour. Uh, we're going to be taking the GT500 car, and specifically, we're taking the Skyline because it's Skyline. Why wouldn't you? Uh, starting off with Suzuka, Sakuba, and then Twin Ring Mategi. Let's get going. Here we go. The Skyline is lining up on the... That was a terrible joke. I don't care. Leave me alone. Give me a break. Oh. Quite a lot of contact there. I don't know what it is, but the Skyline has a really weird shape to the back of it. For this model in particular, it has a very strange shape. Um, yeah, I'm actually quite confused about that, I'll be honest. bad. This thing is really gripping around these corners. I have a slight feeling as well this video is going to be like 10 minutes long. Because this car is able to do these lap times pretty darn quickly. Nice section of track, actually. <laughs> Cut a bit of the corner there, to be honest. Uh, not ideal. We'll try to, uh, Cut down on that. This really got not going well. <laughs> so, uh, uh, tomorrow, I do have a dentist appointment in the morning. It's around about 12 o'clock, which actually kind of sucks a little bit. Because it would have been nice for it to be like 9 o'clock and then. Uh. Did all the stuff I need to do in town and then come home, stream at 12, and start streaming Forza Motorsport. That's not gonna happen. Um, I still don't get why. I get Steam has like a universal release window, but why don't they just release it at the earliest time 
and then everyone gets it. Why release it so late? Plus, surely, if you're an American company like Turn 10 is, they're an American developer, why not make the game release at midnight in the UK like everywhere else does? Because then Americans get it at 7pm, they get it at night time. Americans always get it easy with that. Like, I'm not complaining that we get it at midnight, because whenever it's midnight, it's like, oh yeah, I know exactly when a game's gonna release. But... Like, it would be nice to get it earlier. Though, to be fair, I think Starfield is a game I'm gonna play over a long period of time. Mainly because, A, it's got a long release window. Like, they're predicting that it's going to be, like, something that's built upon for a good five-plus years. Which, it wouldn't surprise me, because adding content to something like Starfield... Starfield... With how many planets... Like, there's a good variety of planets that are occupied, but with the amount of planets that aren't in that game or are fairly unoccupied, you could end up getting, like, a DLC that adds, like, five planets full of stuff. Even 10, 15 planets. They don't even need to add new planets. They just have to change what the, the deserted planets look like. I think that would be great. But yeah, we've got, well, in theory, less than 24 hours before the new Forza Motorsport comes out, so. I am thinking of getting a new uh, Steam account. Just so I can play the game before it comes out, if that makes sense. Like, before I start streaming it. That's what I meant to say. My brain's fried. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'd love to just get into it a little bit. Even if it's just like quick play, just messing around with different cars. Because that's probably what I'm going to do. See what the game's like, give it a shot. I'm still going to play on stream because I've spent 90 quid on it. Yo, Joji, what up? He's talking to himself again. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you stream. It does look very much like you're talking to yourself, but it's, it's not, in a way. Trust me, this is a lot less weird when you're talking to yourself on a stream than if you're talking to yourself on, say for example, a video. Because technically speaking, you just sat there for 20 minutes, talking to yourself. Nobody listens until you upload it, so. Checkmate, bitch.
Why is there a shell fuel station there? I never noticed that. In the middle of a racetrack. Right. I suppose this is probably a track where anyone can turn up to. So that might be why. Pay attention to the outsides of the racetrack. Yeah. There's a lot of minor details that I notice on the track. It's quite cool though when you look at uh, Forza Motorsport because they do put a lot of care and attention into the racetrack to make it feel alive. And obviously you, you look at like the pit walls and everything like that, like the pit lane. There is attention to detail, even though Forza doesn't actually support full-on pit stops. It is pretty cool to see the attention to detail that Forza actually puts into this. Alright, here we go. Twin Ring Mategi. This is finally a circuit that this car can actually properly get the most out of. Suzuka's a little too... I don't know. It doesn't seem the right track to be getting the full performance out of the car. There's a lot of sections that you just have to slow down significantly for. I'd say the second half after the hairpin, you can get a lot of performance out of the car. 100%. But that first half, especially the hairpin and the section before it, like the two almost 90 degree right handers. Especially with this car, I didn't feel like I was going flat out. It felt fast, don't get me wrong. I mean, I suppose that's what the tracks are for. They're not for going flat out, so I suppose that is fair enough. A little bit wide there.
All right, one more lap. Absolutely butchered that corner. This thing's actually really enjoyable to drive. It just, it looks odd. The rear of the car, it doesn't look like a normal Skyline. It looks like they've inflated the middle bit and then curved the edges. It doesn't look like an R34 Skyline. It looks like a cross between an R34 and an R35. Damn. There we go, lovely. And across the line, that is that finished. Da -da -da. And I'll take the money. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.